Now, TG, I mean, do you think they're uh, done done with the linebacker room? Uh-oh. No, I don't think they're done done. I mean, I think this is what you got going to Latrobe, and it's kind of like, let's see what happens in Latrobe. But, you mm. know, it's going to get physical, like, people get nicked, people get bruises, people, you know, who stays healthy, who's playing well. You know, it's kind of like that type. So, it's like, I don't think he's done done. But, I mean, you got to still keep a watch on on Quan out there. Like, he's still out here. Still That's the one. That, yeah. You know? I'm like, man, come on, bro. What's up over there, man? That yeah, number, what, what you waiting on, man? <laughs> yeah, everybody I mean, waiting on. You know what they waiting on. Yeah. Who going down? I, I need my number to go to up. One in. I think yeah. he wanted another linebacker anyway. Like, he was trying to bring another one in. So, it's like, he probably took that money that Quan didn't take, and let's see what it yeah. is. You know, that kind of seems like that type. Mm. But, no, I don't think he's done yet. I think he's still looking for that athlete. If he can still, or he's still trying to see if his safeties that he's moving down there work out. Like I think mm. he's still trying to. I think Latrobe's gonna take that. This was it's Latrobe time. Yeah. Like he's, he's saying, you still got to see the Keanu yeah. Neal element of it, and yeah. what that looks like in pads in that role, because we know it's different in OTAs, man. OTAs mini camp. A lot of guys look great in those roles, but then when you actually put them pads on, it's just like, can you hold up in there? Like physically, not just doing it one time, but repeating that process, you know. So I think it's a lot of that. That that's what TG's referencing too, right there, man. So I can see that though. I can see, man. Latrobe is gonna get fired, man. We what a little bit over a month away, right? I think first practice is the twenty seventh of July, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're close. Yeah, man. We getting there. We getting there. I like yeah, it. Time. Hey, it's gonna get real out here. You know that. Absolutely, absolutely. Now another dude that we were still kind of talking about in terms of just seeing if there would be any type of movement or if we would change our stance on it was the Isaiah Simmons part. When we're just saying, you know, potentially other moves that are left out there, other guys that we could potentially be looking at. He still was that other guy that has still been on our radar, you know, for a while right now. And we're just still thinking to ourselves like, does that happen anytime now? Or is that going to be more of a, a season thing or close to the season thing? Like, what are you thinking with that still? I think that's a now thing. I think that happens like in camp if it like happens. I think you try to get that over if you try to make that move. You know? Um I don't know if that's gonna happen. Like mm. I think yeah, I think that's a little bit <laughs> he said, I don't know if that one's gonna happen. Yeah, right. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I would love to see it happen. Why don't you think that that's the one I want? That's the one you want? Yeah, I that's the you, one you want I that want one? Too. I'm good with that. I, I like it. that one. I love to see it. It's just kinda like I don't know. I think I think training camp tells a lot. You know, people get hurt, things happen, yeah. like necessity, who needs it, who would you know? Like I think they hold on to it during a little bit of training camp, but they're trying to shop it by before the season starts. So I think they see who needs it. Like who's who linebacker gets hurt, yeah. who gets nicked up, who's gonna give them a little bit more maybe for it, whose linebacker maybe isn't what they think it is, so they might feel like they can make a move, like just things like that. So, so do you have it as a lock that they're gonna trade him? That's what I mean. Like, I don't even think it's a for sure trade. Like, oh, so you I don't? Think, See, I think I thought it was. Yeah. I think he definitely was gonna get moved. That's how I looked at it. But, when but they when they, they pick up that option, over there? I think they got issues over there because they gotta figure out what they're doing with Buddha. It's like, do you want to unload everything at one time? Like, they got a lot of stuff. They're well, they to could out. tank for your boy, right? <laughs> they could, and that would be the place to do it. Too. <laughs> they good. They good. But then I, honestly, just, I know that, we did the whole game. Heck, I know we did the whole game of like, who would you take, Caleb Williams or yeah. this guy, this guy? I would do that if I was the Cardinals. I actually. would take. Yeah, I would move like, on from Kyler Murray right Absolutely, now. Absolutely, I would. Absolutely, the place where it happened. Like, but but right, no one wants Kyler. But Tom, can contract. you do that? Yeah, I was about to say, man, who is taking Kyler right now, bro? You're still, that's still the first pick in the draft. Somebody would take. 